Thank you everyone for tuning to the Heartbreak Dog. I am your host today, Stim. I'm going to do a long-term review over the Herman Survivor Pro Series Men's Shovel Waterproof 6-inch Steel Toe Work Boots, and that's the last time I'll be referring to these things as such a title. I'm just going to call them the Shovel Boots. So, I realized I purchased these boots way back in 2019 from Walmart. This is when I was back and forth with Walmart, and I had, had a set of the ones with the bulls on them, and these had a bear on them. And I'm a bit of a Fallout New Vegas fanboy, so in my mind, I had to set up as Bear versus the Bull. For the price, these are much better than what the Bull offers. And I'll gladly fight with, fight with the Bear any day. This is what these boots look like after three years. I'm, I'm, there, there's some B-roll rolling right now, so if you can see that, you got a little bit of flex, a little bit of age. These boots, are, these boots are three years old. I only paid a hundred dollars for them. There is some slight splitting going on. The sole is not worn all the way through. And I will say something about the sole on that thing. In those boots, I have taken the sole out, and, and hopefully in, in the B-roll, I get where not in the B-roll that's going on. They're some of my uh, AR approved boots, uh, but those boots over there, I took the sole out of the out, out of the shovelers and put them into the McRays because I wore such a hole in them. And those soles in the in the in the shovelers. They work amazingly for shock absorption. Heat dissipation, not so much. I do still stand by what I said in my original review about these boots not breathing. But with that said, my current line of work is still at the same place. I'm just in a different apartment now. Now I have the ability to get my feet wet 24-7. I apologize, 12 hours a day. And now I'm walking on a very slippery surface as well. With that said, how well have these boots held up? I have not done much to these boots. I have I've applied mink oil once or twice to them and called it a done day. As you can see, there's a good amount of fraying coming from the wire, coming from the, the wires, coming from the shoelaces. Those might need to get changed at some point. The ends of the shoelaces are like gone, so we'll probably take a lighter to it or whatnot and just melt it down because uh, we stay on that broke, <laughs> we stay on that broke life. <laughs> Also, again, this is not sponsored. I bought these with my own money way back when, and I am considering getting another pair of these, but getting the 8-inch ones, the ones that have the higher uh, cushion on them, because the cushion in these, the shock absorption in these, it feels amazing. I have not changed out the sole at all. I took the sole out and put it into some other boots, some AR boots as well, and, well, AR670-1 approved boots, and uh, those, those soles are amazing. I... Did not feel the fatigue that I would normally feel, nor the blisters I would normally feel in the traditional standard issues. Jumping back to the shoulders, though, for the price, at day I'm checking this right now is uh is 12 August 2022, and the current price of these at the moment for these, the price is going to vary from region to region. I'm seeing is about at $94.98. Here the 6% sales tax, so roughly about $102, give or take. And features. What is featured on these boots? These steel boots, they have a, these feature on those boots, they have is a puncture resistant steel plate, which I have played around every now and then, like get a nail, decide to step on it and whatnot, or just see what happens. I've broken many a pallet with these boots, by the way. They have a uh, anti fatigue foot, foot bedding, so I guess it's all the cushion in the bottom, if I feel so soft. These are obviously steel toe, these do have a steel toe rating on them for the, AT, the ASTM. Rated moisture wicking. I question that. Oil and slip resistant. Where I work, I don't. The floors are not oily, but they are slick with like cooking material. Anti puncture plate is stated for waterproof. These are definitely water resistant. I say water resistant because obviously, if you dump these things into a bucket of water, your foot's going to get soaked. Let's be real. People are questionably intelligent, but. These, I have had water, I spray water on the courtesy of a garden hose and a hose I have to use to clean off some of the uh, equipment that we use. And my feet have not been wet. I do still stand by what I said in my prior review as well, and this may be an update. But as far as these boots go, as far as comfort and as far as like heat, what I recommend to wear, I recommend to wear a thinner sock. Something that's more like, I want to say on the, like the, the ones that are like really hugging and like uh, have, the, have the copper fit, fit in it. Because these boots get really hot, and honestly, to take your foot out of a hot boot and feel cold air, it feels amazing. You can wear a thicker sock. I didn't have any issues when I did 
Obviously, my feet just got hot. That's that's about it. No, I'm not going to show feet pictures on here. If you want to see that, check out my OnlyFans. The Bucks. With that, though, thinner socks, I do recommend. Wearing these all season, in every season. Would I recommend these boots for, like, would I recommend these boots for any other type of recreational events or whatnot? Absolutely. Yes, I would. I'm going to take these boots and go on a little hiking trip. By all means, go for it. I mean, I don't know why you would, but you can. Should the end of the world come shortly within the next coming months? Who knows? These boots may be your last saving, saving grace of comfort. Yes, they are bulky. Yes, they are a bit heavy. Getting in the car, I have noticed myself kind of just like taking up more room than I do in the steel toed issue. Well, the AR670 F1 approved steel toes that I, that I like to use from time to time. These, though, if you want to make these an all season boot, Change your socks. Get some thinner socks for the summer, obviously, and maybe some standard socks for, for the winter. How often does the sock I've, I've worn bunch down? Not at all. The socks I wear, they do not bunch down at all. I've worn a variety of socks. Everything from the aforementioned uh, thin socks to the very thick socks to the middle grade, uh, try, try, whatever the thing is. Again, I'm not sponsored by any of these people. This is my honest opinion. Because... There's too many people out there in the world who will get something and say, Hey, look at it. It's brand new. It's brand new, so it's great. Uh, no, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That's why I do these reviews like that. That's all I got for y'all for that one. I am considering getting the, 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 the do, do, dozer model, which is basically just a taller heel, the taller uh, ankle support thing on it, and probably maybe changing the shoelace. Downside about this boot, sadly, uh, females and or effeminate type out there, uh, they only come in, in this color of orange and black. Whatever it is, recommend it to wear on a motorcycle, I've not been there yet. I'm working on it, though. This is what you call foreshadowing. Either way, would I buy these boots again? Absolutely. I'm considering buying a taller version of these. Will these boots fit your work environment? If you need something where it, that has reflective capability, because these, dudes have, these boots do have a reflectors on the back of the heel, which I guess makes sense. If you need something that's, that's anti-puncture proof on the bottom, these will work. Something steel toe, these will work. Work in a damp or wet environment where your boots are getting wet, these will definitely work. If you want to have want to walk around and feel feel unstoppable as well, these boots will absolutely work. That's all I gotta say for y'all. This has been Sin with the Heartbreak Dog. Craig will be back another day. And that's all we got. Everyone have a blessed day. Take it easy.